Hello, I'm Lawrence Anthony, and in this video I'm going to explain how to use the Ankonk Collocates tool. Now, another video shows how to download Ankonk and get started with the software, so I'm just going to jump in and load in the Journalism or Press subcorpus of the Brown Corpus, which is a million word corpus of general English. So I'm going to go to File, Open Files, and uh, here's my corpus, and I'm going to select uh, categories A, B and C, which uh, is the press journalism subcorpus. I'll, I will then click on the collocates tab at the top here, and I'm ready to start. Now this tool allows you to search for so-called collocates of a search term. In other words, it allows you to search for words that often appear in close connection or close association with the search term and determine the strength of that association. So first we need to choose a search word and I'm going to type in report. I've been using this in many of these tutorials. Now uh, as with other tools we can search for words or case or regex. We also have advanced uh, search options uh, which I've explained in the uh, concordance tool video earlier. But for this tool, searching beyond single words introduces a lot of complications when it comes to interpreting the results, so staying with single words is probably safer here. Next, we need to set the span of words to the left and to the right of the search term that we're going to look at. And the default is five words to the left to five words to the right, which is a very common setting for looking for collocates. Now the span doesn't have to always be like this. We can change the span to say one word to the left to five words to the right. And if we click the same option, when we make changes, it then keeps in sync like this. And that may be useful for some other searches. I'm going to stay with the default of five words to the left to five words to the right. We can also set the minimum collocate frequency, and I'll leave that here to be a minimum frequency of one. And the final thing we need to decide is the measure of strength of association or collocate strength. And the default for ANCONC is something called mutual information, um, but we can change that and I'll show you that in a moment. So we're ready to now generate some collocates of report. So I click on start and we get a warning that Ankonk needs to jump to the word list tool to generate a word list. This is because to calculate the collocation strength, it needs to know the frequencies of all the words in the corpus. So I'm just going to click OK here. The software automatically jumps to the word list, which I'll explain in another video, and then comes back to the collocates tool and then creates the results, and here they are. What you can see here is that the strongest association is with a word with a very low frequency. In fact, it's just a word with a frequency of one in the corpus. And this is a little bit of the limitation of the, this collocation strength measure. However, if we uh, sort the results, and I can sort the results by frequency, frequency of words to the left of the search term or the right of the search term and so on. And I choose frequency here and sort the results. We have a little bit more interesting information. So now we can see that uh, the word the appears near the word report with a frequency of 39 and a, a collocation strength of 3.7. And there are values to determine if these strengths are statistically significant. Coming down the list, we can see, for example, the word detailed as a frequency of three and a frequency to the left, which is also three, and zero to the right. So that suggests that this word is always appearing to the left of the word report, and it has a fairly high uh, collocate strength. So if we click on the word detailed, we can then produce a concordance set of results showing this, and here they are. Now these results are a little bit difficult to understand perhaps, but we can see here that uh, 
there are three occurrences of report and detailed occurs to the left once, twice, and then because the span is five words to the left, we can also see it occurring to the left here. So that's why we have three times to the left. If we come back to the collocates tool and pick, on, pick a different word, for example, president, we can see it occurs twice to the left, once to the right of the search term with a total of three. If I click this word, we can see the results. Uh, so now we can see that we have president received a detailed report. So it occurs to the left once. Report to president occurs on the right here. And then president to report occurring on the left in the third case. So twice on the left and once on the right. If we come back to the results, we can sort them in different ways. For example, if we are interested in just looking at words that occur to the left of the search term, we can sort by frequency to the left. And then we can find words which are collocating with the search term. For example, president, as we just saw. But we have other words like uh, long, uh, labor, and so on. There are a few menu options for this tool. So if I click on Tool Preferences and click on Collocates, you can see that we have a few display options at the top here. So I can choose to, for example, hide the collocation measure or hide the collocate itself, which would probably be a little strange. We can also select which collocate measure we're going to use. Now, the default is mutual information. There is another method called T-score, but the default mutual information I think is good and as with other tools we can treat all the data as lowercase when we are making the counts and this is perhaps the most obvious option to use here uh, we can also sort using case and then capital letter words would appear at the top and lowercase letters would appear uh, lower down and this is the same with many other tools I won't do that uh, now, and you, you can see that um, action in the other tools that I've already explained. The tool does have a, a clone results option, so that if we clone the results, we can then compare the results easily with other searches. And that's about it for the Collocates tool. Thank you.